To ensure smooth operations with C20, please refer to the following for pre-flight debugging. In door test first, link the drone. Before power on, check the can resistance value. First, turn the multimeter to the ohm range and measure the resistance of UPS signal hole on the front PDB. The can's resistance is 120 ohms plus or minus 3 ohms. When the FC module and attitude radar are installed, the resistance value of the car is 60 ohms plus or minus 3 ohms. Then power on the drone. Open the controller and enter EFT Agri app. Long press the link button on the receiver until the indicator light flashes. Open EFT Agri app device controller link. And then the connected appears on the home page after successful link. In assistant app, advanced options, enter the password 999. Click board rate setting. Set the UART 0115200. Then click Save Settings. Open EFT app. The connected on the home page indicates successful matching. Parameters settings. Click Accounts on the EFT app. Fill in the password and log in. Click Common settings. Select the map provider and unit area as needed. Return to the home page. Click Start. Then click the setting button to set parameters. The pilots can choose rotor mode as needed. This video takes the left throttle as example. Then check the channels. Channel settings is already done before delivery. Users can change as needed. In controller, tap to the calibrate controller. Click all buttons except return button twice. Then move to the left and right joysticks to the full extent. Repeat this step twice. After completing all the above actions, click Confirm. In flight settings, departure and return attitude speed, low volume protection can be customized. Then prefer spray settings. Switch on the spray system before operation. Choose double nozzle or four nozzle according to the actual number of nozzles. And in four nozzle mode, choose auto double open or all open according to the operation needs. Click radar settings to customize the radar switch, obstacle distance, and other parameters as needed. If it's RTK, click RTK station. Click battery, check all battery related data here, and set low power actions. Click others, switch voice on, off. Click device check. Check the power system, the four motors should be all in PWM mode. If they are in CAM mode, click settings to reconfigure it to PWM. In advanced, no need to modify. And the parameters settings are completed. Electronic devices inspection, step one. Enter the EFT app to check GPS connection. Step two, check whether the battery power is displayed in percent. Step three, Check if the camera image is clear and turn the top right dial on the remote control to ensure smooth anchor adjustment. Step 4. Cover the radar and check if any data displays in the radar bowl. Step 5. In flight settings, arm sensor, turn the switch on. The white indicates arms are locked and the red indicates abnormality and warnings will appear on main page. Step 6. In spray settings, check the real-time data of the pump and nozzles. If they are not at work, they should be zero. Step 7. In others, device check. Check the four motors in power system. Tap check for each of four motors in turn to inspect their rotation direction, running status and any abnormal noise. Outdoor test next. Calibrate the drone. Step 1. Magnetic calibration. In EFT app, flight settings, sensor calibrate, magnetic calibrate. Magnetic calibration is not required when equipped with RTK. Then start calibrating. Follow the instructions on the screen or voice prompts. Two people should lift the drone and perform horizontal calibration first. After completion, perform vertical calibration. Ensure the drone's head is facing downward. When the screen displays calibration finished, place the drone on the ground and tap Confirm. After completing the magnetic calibration, power off the drone and restart it to ensure normal operation. Step 2. In spray settings, 
Weight calibration. Check if all the key values are the same as the numbers on the weighing module. If not, click K calibrate and modify it accordingly. Then click zero calibration when the tank is empty. Return to the main page and check whether the weight is zero. Weigh over 10 kg materials and record the weight. Then pour it into the tank. Click weight calibration and enter the record weight to start. Note that there should be no foreign object in the tank, and the tank should be seamlessly attached to the weight sensor during calibration. After calibration, if the value that appears on the IPP matches the record value, then the calibration is completed. Note, when switching between spray and spreading modes and the weight displays correctly, only zero calibration is required. Step 3. Perform pump calibration. Weigh over 15 kg of material and pour it into the tank. After selecting the nozzle mode, click Spray Calibration to calibrate the pump. Manually remove air from the water hoses, then tap Calibrate to start automatic calibration. Do not press the tank during calibration. Once the calibration is finished, confirm it. Pre-flight inspection. Step 1. We should check that the screws, components, and fittings are properly mounted, no screws missing, and ensure the frame is stable when shaken by hand. Check whether the arm barkers are locked, and ensure the barkers are tight when shaken by hand. Check whether the motors and the propellers are installed correctly. Check whether the screws are tight and stable. Finally, move the motors to ensure there is no noticeable movement. Ensure the battery is installed tightly and without shaking. Step 2. Make sure the drone flight mode is GPS. Battery power. It is recommended to use a full charge battery for flight testing. Check the number of GPS satellites. Make sure the arrow direction on APP map matches the drone head direction. Ensure the rocker mode matches actual use. After all parameters settings are confirmed, unlock the drone for flight test. Flight test, no load test first. Turn the joystick inward or outward to unlock the drone. Slowly push the throttle stick to take off. The pilot can perform a flight test according to the on-site conditions and push the direction stick forward to flight the drone forward. Observe the flight stability and the battery level during the test. Hover the drone, tap other settings, device check, and check the throttle values of the four motors. If the deviation is less than 10%, the drone is ready for normal flight. Follow test them. Let the drone and fill the tank with water, then fly the drone and ensure stable flight. In the EFT app, tap Start and select Manual mode. Choose Fixed or Dynamic for the Spring mode, then set the parameters. When the drone flies to the work area, Turn on the pump and check if the drone sprays normally. Once all tests are completed successfully, the drone debugging process is completed.